right, next we're going to start working with some we're going to start working with some loan tables. So notice down here I have a table that tells me your monthly payment for every hundred dollars of a loan. Um, notice it has the terms here, the number of months, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. That's how many months you're given to pay it off. And across the top here we have our percentage rates. We have all the formulas up here that you're need, you will need. So when we do a problem like this, we first find the monthly payment. So you take the amount that you're borrowing and divide it by 100. That is because the loan table is for every $100. So we have to take our amount, divide by 100. And then you multiply by the monthly payment for a $100 loan, which would be the number we find in the table. Next, we use that number to find out how much you pay total. So you take the number of payments you're making, or how many months you're paying over, times the monthly payment that you found up above. And then finally, we find the finance charge. Now, how do we know what the finance charge is? Well, it's any extra that was added to your balance, any extra that you paid. So you take the total amount you paid and subtract from that the amount of your loan or the amount you financed. Okay, so here is Lawrence Wagner. He has a loan. It has a APR of 10%. Um, for a log splitter that's $842. The store financing requires a 10% down payment and 36 monthly payments. What is his finance charge? Well, first we're going to have to find out what's the amount of the loan. And here I'm going to use the complement method just to save some time. So he's paying 90% down. So let's use the complement or sorry, he's paying 10% down. Let's use the complement method. If he's paying 10% down, what percent is left for him to lo be the loan, and we get 10 minus, or excuse me, 100 minus 10 is 90. Move the decimal two places to the left to change that to a decimal rather than a percent. So we take, he's going to finance 90% of the loan, so we take that 0 0.9 times 842, the price of the logs per litter. When we do, we get $757.80. So this is amount, the amount he's financing or the amount of his loan through this company. Now, they require when you take out a loan that you use, um, they want an interest rate of 10% and 36 monthly payments. So now we go over to the table and we go, okay, 10%. Look for the column that has 10%. Here it is right here and then look for 36 months and go across from 36 months. And we want to see where those two intersect and it's right here, 3.23. So up here in our formula for monthly payment, this will tell us what our monthly payment will be for the loan. You take the amount of the loan, which was $757.80. You divide it by 100 and then you multiply by the monthly payment for a hundred dollar loan, which is that number we just found in our table using the percentage rate and the number of months. This will give us our monthly payment. So we're going to take $757.80, divide by a hundred, and then multiply by 3.23. Okay, when we do that, we get 24 for 24.476, which would round to 24.48. This is the monthly payment for the log splitter. Now we want to find out how much are you going to play total. So we're paying for 36 months, 36 times, and our monthly payment is $24.48. So we take 36 times 24.48. When we do that, we get $881.28. That's the total amount we're repaying. Now notice we only borrowed $842, or excuse me, $757. So when we want to find the finance charge, which is our last step, we take the amount we paid back total, our $881.28, and subtract from that the amount of our loan, and our loan was $757.80. When we do that, we get $123.48. So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, Lawrence bought a log splitter for $842, but he had to give a 10% down payment, so he actually only borrowed $757.80. 
His monthly payments would have been $24.48. He did that for 36 months for a total of $881.28. So he paid $881.28, but he only borrowed $757.80. So the difference of those is the amount of finance charge, the amount he had to pay the company for borrowing the money and paying it off as he went. All right, here we have a question about Emma Weber. She purchased a bedroom stent set with an installment loan. Um, her APR is 12%. The bedroom set sells for $1,520. The store financing requires a 15% down payment and then 42 monthly payments after that. What is the finance charge? So again, first, we're going to have to find the amount of the loan. The store requires 15% down. So let's use the complement method again because that saves us kind of a step. Um, so if you pay 15% down, what percent is left for you to borrow? And we get 85%. So the amount of our loan is 85% of the total, which was $1,520. Okay, so she's actually going to borrow $1,292 after her down payment. That's how much she will still owe. Now we go to this formula here to find her monthly payment. We know we're taking the amount of the loan, $1,292, divided by 100, and then multiplying by the monthly payment for a $100 loan. That's where our table comes in over here. We find the percentage rate of the loan is 12%, so we want, know we want to be looking in this column here. And we know that it was for 42 months, so we find 42 months and look across from 42 months. Where those intersect, 12% and 42 months, we get 2.93. Okay, That is the amount you pay each month for every $100. Let's calculate that. 1,292 divided by 100 and then times 2.93 gives us $37.86. Okay. From there, now we need to find out, well, if that's our monthly payment, how much are we going to end up paying total when this loan is over? So we take the number of payments. This time it was 42 payments. They told us up here in our information. And we are paying $37.86 every time. Right there. So we take 42 times 37.86. We get $1,590.12. That's the amount you're paying back on this loan. Now remember, you only borrowed $1,292. So our finance charge is going to be the difference between those two, the difference between what you actually borrowed and what you actually paid back. So again, you paid total $1,590.12, but you only borrowed $1,292 after your down payment. So it looks like your finance charge, the amount you paid in interest, was $298.12.